Hi there. This time I'm going to talk about some of the advanced tricks related to round formula, round up and round down. So I assume that you would have either gone through our videos on round formula or you may have already used round formula on one of the occasions in your work. Now the question, let's assume that I'm giving you a number which is in this case 4333.62 and I want an answer which is rounded off to the nearest 50. Now if you were to do this manually, you would have perhaps given this answer 4350, correct? Why? Because 4325 is the middle point between 4300 and 4350 and you've already crossed that. Hence, 4350 is the answer I would have taken. In case the number would have been 4313, then the nearest 50 would have been what? 4300. So that's the intended objective. Now, if I write round formula and I choose the number, and I put comma 50. This 50 doesn't mean rounded off to nearest 50. It means 50 number of decimal digits. So ideally, if you were a scientist, this would have been a very, very useful formula, which gives you 50 decimal accuracy for a certain number, but not this particular trick for us. What we want is nearest 50. And you might tell me, look, we already know about a formula, which is called M round. So M R and then pressing the tab key. It asks me to choose the number, which I do gladly, but then it also tells me, please provide me the multiple to which you want the closest number to be. So if I give 50, close the bracket, enter, oh, I get the answer. That's how easy it is, but wait. If I put a negative sign before the number and if I press enter, look, M round doesn't work. So if you're working with numbers positive and negative all mixed up and you're anticipating an answer which has to be rounded off to nearest 50 then do not use m round for this one simple reason and there's one more reason because m round doesn't have the branch of m round up and m round down so on occasions you want a dual logic one it should be rounded off to nearest 50 and that to the lower part of the nearest 50 range so we will not take the help of m round it doesn't work with positive and negative simultaneously we will, in fact, take the help of a technique, very, very important trick, because that important trick engulfs all the possible solution in one triple trick. So equal to ROU, I'm beginning with the formula trick, equal to ROU, pressing the tab key, choosing the number. Now the trick begins here. I will divide with the number to which I want the closest number to be. Now you might ask me, why am I doing so? Let me show you why. I copy the selection, and I'm going to put a space before equal to so that the formula stays there. And then I will show you this calculation separately. That is B18 divided by 50. Now currently it's giving me what? 86.67. Okay. So inside the formula round, essentially I have given 86.67 to round formula as a raw material. Now when I put a comma and tell it zero, what does this zero mean? It means zero number of decimal digits. The answer is going to be rounded off to 87. Now, this is not the final answer. Final answer is when I multiply with 50, the same number with which I divided. This is nearest 50. And the best part is if you have a negative number, it works with negative and positive numbers simultaneously with the same old formula, unlike M round formula, which will get you trapped. And you might also tell me, look, uh, I am in the business of uh, uh, manufacturing cement and I per perhaps produced 433.60 ton of cement. Now we are in the business where we are selling in lots of 25 units each. So I want to know how many complete units of lot can I sell us in wholesale market and the remaining amount that is not up to 25 lots I will be selling as loose quantities. So practically speaking, I wish to find out which is the nearest 25, but at the lower end of nearest 25 or nearest 50. In this case, let me apply round down. I'll choose the number, divide by 25. As per our strategy, I put a comma and zero. And what should I do? Yes, correctly identified. You should be multiplying with 25. So it tells you that 4325 is the complete unit which you can divide in lots of 25, 25, 25 and can sell it off. The remaining has to be sold as loose. And that quantity happens to be what? 4 triple 3.62 less 4, 3, 2, 5. So that's where the advantage lies. The round formula with our trick can also be combined with the round up and round down to give you desired results.
and in fact if i show you more variations for example uh, i want to round down to the nearest uh, 20 or maybe round up you tell me and i have a solution for you so in this case i put in equal to r o u n d and then using round up pressing the tab key choosing the base number divide by 20 yes comma zero it's a standard format and then multiplied with 20 so what you are now getting is rounded up to the nearest 20 and that's where the application lies round up round down and with our special trick all combined together you have all the possibilities where you might think about round to the nearest five round to the nearest 50 paise round to the nearest 50 cents or round to the nearest 10 rupee or dollar in case you wish to find out nearest 50 cents uh, i perhaps can use a normal round formula mm -hmm. choose the number comma Wait, what am, what am I missing? Yes, initially you would be facing this particular dilemma because since you're not accustomed to this trick, you might miss this. So you put that comma for a little later. First you divide by 0 0.5 comma zero and then do what? Multiply with 0.5. So this has rounded off to the nearest 50 cents or 50 paise. Round down, just add the word down or maybe round up depending on the logic. Hope you enjoyed this and see you in the next video with more such tricks.